And right now our verify team is looking into your right to act. If you ever come across a child or pet locked in a hot car, we know those temps are getting dangerously high this weekend. And just days ago, a child died after being locked in a hot car here in Charlotte. WCNC Charlotte's Nick Sturdivant verifies how you're allowed to respond. So far, five children across the country have died after being left in a hot vehicle. Two of those right here in the Carolinas. But what should you do if you stumble across a child or pet locked in a hot vehicle? Let's get the facts. Our sources are Matthews Police PIO Tim Acock, Attorney Gary Monty, South Carolina Law and North Carolina Law. In both North and South Carolina, you are protected by law to break or enter a vehicle if you notice a person in distress and in need of immediate medical attention. You're not going to be liable for breaking and entering or any type of a criminal offense. If you walk by a vehicle and you see a, a human being inside of the vehicle that is in obvious physical distress. But could the owner of the car still sue you if you break open a window to save a person from a locked vehicle? Monty says technically yes, but the chances of the lawsuit going anywhere is very thin. I don't see a judge allowing that claim to go forward. The whole purpose of this statute is to embody the idea that a human life is more important than property. However, Monty says the same law does not apply to animals. There's an animal in the car and you see that the animal is probably in distress based on reasonable facts and circumstances, then you do need to call animal control. The, the statute doesn't protect you from a breaking and entering in that situation. Matthews Police PIO Tim Acock says, in either instance, before you do anything, call 911. We really want to be able to get there as quickly as we can and, and do what we need to do to save lives if possible. With your Verify, I'm Nick Sturdy. And don't forget, our Verify team is here to debunk misinformation and bring you the facts so you are not sharing false information. You can always email us questions to verify at WCNC.com.